Do you need to send thousands of personalized emails to your clients or customers, but you don't want to share your contacts with a third-party SaaS service like MailChimp or HubSpot? Or maybe you don't want to spend an arm and a leg. We created a spreadsheet template with a Python script to send out customized emails automatically from your personal computer. Unlike other email services online, this tool is free of charge and runs directly on your computer, ensuring your email list, content, attachment, and credentials remain private and secure. Plus, you can choose from various email styles and options to fit your message to each recipient. In this video, you'll learn how to configure the spreadsheet with your credentials to send emails, install and set up Python on your computer, and run the script to send emails automatically. With our template, you get a compressed file with the spreadsheet, the Python script, and auxiliary files. Once you unzip or extract our template, make sure to keep all the files in the extracted folder. Remember that the spreadsheet template is crucial for the Python script to work correctly. Make sure not to change any column names, fields, or the structure in general. Only edit the fields in blue. Oh, and by the way, for those who don't know us, we are uExec. We create business presentation templates and spreadsheet models to save you hours of work. Follow our channel if you want weekly templates and tools to propel your career. Personalizing emails is important because it ensures your emails land in the inbox of your recipients. Additionally, it allows you to pass custom URLs, dates, facts, and figures to each of your contacts separately. Instead of creating separate emails for each recipient, our template will merge the custom fields you have defined for contact into your email body and subject by replacing column one through column 10. The Python script will auto replace these variables with the actual data as the emails are sent. This eliminates the need to design individualized emails for everyone. All you need to do is get creative with these fields. Our spreadsheet template comes with a tab that contains all the general settings and configurations that you'll need to send emails. Under the fields tab, set the connection type, whether or not to include an attachment, the email row that the sender should start from, and the option to add a signature at the end of all your emails. The template has two connection options. One is SMTP, suitable for email servers like Hotmail, Outlook, and Yahoo. And the other is a Gmail API connection, specifically for Google users, either Gmail or Google Workspace. Select the connection type via the drop-down menu. For SMTP connections, you need to provide your email provider server port and details. This information can be found by searching online. Simply search for your email's provider name, SMTP server, and port settings. When using SMTP, you'll also need to input your email credentials in the template, such as your email address and password. But rest assured, these details remain entirely local on your computer and aren't shared with anyone. If you want added privacy, you can even hide these fields within the template. That said, once the spreadsheet has your credentials, do not share the spreadsheet with others. On the other hand, if you opt for the Google API connection, no extra SMTP details are required. The Google API manages everything, establishing the connection automatically when the Python script gets executed. The only requirement is to sign in with your Gmail or Google Workspace. Login details aren't stored or saved, so you'll need to log in each time you use the script. This ensures that your information remains private and secure. Other configurable options include the ability to add an attachment and signature to your outgoing emails. To enable attachments, select Yes from the corresponding dropdown. When the script is executed, you'll be prompted to pick the one file that will be attached to your emails. Likewise, to enable the signature, choose Yes and design your signature as desired. A formatting preview is available on the side to give you a glimpse of how your signature will appear in emails. Lastly, you can select the row from which your emails should start sending. For instance, if there are 100 emails in your list, but you only want to send it to the last 50, it's possible to adjust the starting point. This feature is especially handy if you encounter any issues while the emails are being sent and need to restart from the middle of your list to avoid sending duplicates. Within this template, up to six different email content options can be created. Five of these tabs are standard emails, while the sixth can be customized in an HTML-based layout. But don't worry, you don't need any HTML knowledge. Let's start with the standard email tabs. The layout of these emails are not customizable. However, you can still edit the email content you want to send. 
In the email subject and body fields, enter your message. Remember, when you enter your message in the subject line or the email body, you can use column one through column 10 to merge the email content with the custom fields of your recipients. For emails that need a more personalized look, the HTML email tab is ideal. On this tab, users can adjust text styles, add links, and select heading types. These customizations can be chosen using the drop-down menus next to each. After each is selected, the email will automatically update, creating a well-organized appearance. And remember, any settings applied in the Fields tab are carried over. So, if signatures or attachments are enabled, they are incorporated into every sent email. And don't forget, you can download and begin to customize this template right now in Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets. Keep watching to learn how to set up the Python installation to get your emails dispatched. Before you can run our Python script, you'll need to install Python on your computer. Python is a simple programming language that runs on Windows, Mac, and Linux computers. Without Python, our script will not run, and your emails won't be sent, even with the correct template setup. It's worth noting that our Python-based solution runs locally on your device. This means it doesn't rely on external servers to store or process your data, ensuring your information remains private and secure. Also, the script is transparently shared, allowing anyone to inspect its code. Upon reviewing the source code of our Python script, you'll be able to see that your data remains private and is only shared with your email provider. Now, to set up Python, follow these steps. Visit Python's official site, www.python.org downloads. Click on Downloads and choose version 3.11 or newer. Launch the downloaded installer to begin the installation process. And note, Windows users should check the Add Python to Path option during installation. If you miss this step, uninstall Python and reinstall it, ensuring the Path option is selected. This step is vital for future script execution using the Windows command prompt. Python libraries improve a script's capabilities, enabling functionalities such as Gmail API integration or Excel file reading. All essential libraries for this tool are detailed in the provided requirements.txt file. Without them, the script won't work. You only have to set this up once, though. Extract or unzip our template into a preferred folder. In both Windows and Mac, our template will be extracted to a folder called Email Sender. Now, we're going to show how to install the necessary libraries and run the Email Sender on Windows, and later, we're going to explain the same thing for Macs. First up, Windows. Use the File Explorer and navigate to the Email Sender folder location. Click on the folder and then copy the folder path. Open Command Prompt in Windows. Inside the Command Prompt, enter CD and paste the folder's path where the files were placed. Then, press Enter to enter said folder. From within the folder, then type pip install r requirements.txt and press Enter. That will download all the required files to make sure the email sender works. And finally, after you've configured the Excel sheet, you can go ahead and start sending the emails by typing python email underscore sender dot py. And that's it. Press enter and your emails should start sending. As the emails are being sent, you'll be able to see all the logs and details in the command prompt. Going forward, you don't need to reinstall the libraries again and again. To start sending emails again, go back to your folder via the command prompt and type the last Python command. For Macs, right-click on the folder called email underscore sender, which is the folder that was created when you extracted or unzipped our template. Then, select New Terminal at Folder. This will open a new terminal command prompt that is automatically in the extracted folder. Finally, type pip3 install minus r requirements.txt and press Return. This will download and install all the necessary libraries for the email sender. Lastly, once you've configured your Excel spreadsheet, type python3 email underscore sender dot py and press return. This will start sending your custom emails. And again, like the Windows instructions, you don't need to reinstall the libraries again and again. To start sending emails, you just need to go back to the folder via the terminal and type the last python3 command. The Python script works in a direct manner. It first checks the Excel file to get all the configuration details that you entered in the Fields tab. If you've enabled file attachments, for example, it prompts you to select which file you want to attach to all of your emails. 
Using the SMTP connection option, the script will create a connection with your specified email provider. If you're using the Gmail API option, the script will open a web page for you to log into your Gmail or Google Workspace. We've designed this API feature specifically for this task. To function, make sure you give your Python permission to use your login data. Once credentials are confirmed, the script initiates the email sending process. For each sent email, the command prompt, or terminal, will print out a confirmation message showing the email type and its recipient. This continues until all emails have been sent. At the end, a summary report provides the total number of emails that were sent and the time it took. And if an error occurs when you're sending the emails, the script will notify you and will indicate the last email that was sent. This allows you to resume from where you stopped the next time you start sending emails. This can be done by changing the Start Sending Emails from Row field in the Excel file. The script is also designed with protections. It can recognize situations that will keep the script from running smoothly. For example, when you're not connected to the internet, when the template hasn't been filled out correctly, or if there's been a change to the structure of the original files. Lastly, for those using Google Sheets, the script operates similarly. Just download the Excel version by selecting File, Download, Microsoft Excel, and place that file on the same folder as the other documents. You can also overwrite this with the most recent version as needed. We hope this tool helps to optimize your email sending process, and we'd love to hear about your experiences or if you have any questions. As you use this feature, if you have any feature requests, do share that feedback with us so we can keep improving this email sender. Thank you so much for watching.